We're going to take a quick look at one of the ways that microprocessors and microcontrollers alter their machine language program execution. Instead of just executing one instruction after the other, as in a straight line program, we're going to look at how they jump around. Uh, this time, no conditions, just how they actually do a jump. So we're going to use a PIC 18F452 machine language or assembly language programming and we're going to do that using the microchip MP Lab IDE environment and the MP ASM assembler. So let's get to it right away. If I look on this program I can see that my green arrow is starting at the program execution pointing to a go to instruction with the label of start and that's pretty easy to figure out in assembly language because the start is a label and points down to a lower line that has start at the beginning as the label and we would go right from this instruction down to the MOVLW instruction as the next execute. So to get the details and how this works uh, we have to go to another view. I'm going to go to the disassembly listing view, look at the same two instructions and we're going to try and figure out what works here. On the left hand side of the screen is the actual machine code, on the right hand side is the assembly language code. So we can see that the go to start instruction is stored at program memory location 0000. zero. Uh, it has bytes EF, 0D, F0, and 00, as this is a 4 byte instruction. We also can move down the listing a little bit to the MOVLW instruction and see that the line that has start label on it also is at program memory location 001A. So when we execute this go to instruction, it's going to jump from its current program memory location of 000 to memory location, program memory location 001A and we're interested in the details in how this is done so I'm gonna now jump back to the instruction list to see if we can figure this out uh, if we go to page number 215 in the PIC 18F XX2 data sheet we can see that the go to instruction is listed here um, we can clearly see that it is a 4 byte instruction we'll notice that the first byte is actually the opcode and then the first nibble of the second word is also uh, the opcode and everything in between there is labeled as K. Uh, we want to get a little bit more detail on that so let's jump down into the specific uh, instruction go to instruction data sheet section where we have a quite a little bit more of detail for the go to instruction and we'll notice that the layout of the four bytes in the instruction as we said before the first byte is opcode that's EF you'll notice that the second byte says K0 through K7 the third byte of the instruction has an F in the upper hex digit and the rest of the digits are K8 through K19 turns out that the program counter which actually points to the next instruction for the PIC microcontroller is 21 bits and it appears that we can store 20 bits of program memory address right in the go to instruction so we aren't going to be using any relative addressing here we're just going to jam the number within this instruction right into the PC and that's going to cause the PC to go and execute at the new instruction the question is if I only have 20 bits of program memory in this instruction what happens to the other bits so I'm going to go to another diagram that I have here that shows the program the PIC 18F452 program counter on the top and the number that I pull out of the go to instruction the operand and you'll notice that I have this diagram lined up and we'll see that K0 actually lines up with bit 1 of the program counter and what we do is shift the number that we pull out of the go to instruction one to the left and the reasoning behind that is that the PIC microcontroller stores all its instructions on even addresses so if I actually fill in the data 
that I pulled out of the instruction, I'm going to put a zero in here because that's what's going to end up happening, but the rest of the instruction in there was a D. And then everything else was a zero. And when we fill these in quickly, what we have is the address where the instruction is going to go to. Let me fix up the formatting here so it looks nice. And if you take a look at that all together with the bits from the instruction shifted over to the left, you'll see that we're going to jump to address 1A when we dump this into the program counter. And if you remember, uh, said we were going to go to memory location 1A. And if I single step that, you'll see that we jumped right to that address, and that's exactly how the microcontroller alters its program execution to jump to a different address, specifically for the go-to instruction in the PIC.